Praise the Lord and good morning, precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Sister Genevieve here with my two beautiful daughters, Savannah and Morel. Savannah and Morel, say hi everyone. Hi everyone. And so we're just back out this beautiful Sunday morning, um, the 20th of October 2019. And well, we, the Lord is sending us back to the mind body spirit festival and we're going to well we're wearing our um jesus shirts and our jesus caps and we've we're prayed up um and we're well i'm i'm fasting savannah's fasting and um and well the lord has already began to move in such power brothers and sisters amazing testimonies already and we literally just walked out the door but the lord led me to a jewish guy and uh, this jewish man received jesus into his heart I'll, I'll share that a bit more of that testimony later on, but we just wanted to just, um, yeah, just, uh, yeah, right now we're just heading over to the, that Mind, Body, Spirit Festival and uh, I guess just waiting for the leading of the Holy Spirit and, um, and uh, yes, and hopefully, you know, plant some seeds and wake up, wake up some, some people, um, but God's will be done, hallelujah. So now as we're walking over there, we're just giving out tracts to some people and um, and sharing the love of Jesus and, pre and preaching his word. Amen. All right. Savannah, yep, you want to just, uh, just give everyone sitting down. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Jesus loves you, my friend. Have a read of it. He loves you. He died for you to set you free. If you put your faith and trust in him, you're going to receive eternal life. This is not religion. This is relationship with Jesus. He loves you so much. Have a good day, friend. Have a good day. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. Have a read. He's real. He died. He rose again and he's coming back. <laughs> and it's the only way to heaven. <laughs> I encourage you, if you haven't already done so, acknowledge him as your savior. Ask him into your heart. The Bible says, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that God rose him from the dead and you will be saved. That's all it takes, friend. And repent, walking in repentance, just repenting of your sins, trusting in what he did and what he did alone. Because only his precious blood can cleanse us of our sins. And there is a life waiting for us. Yes, yes, darling. How are you? He loves you so much. Ask him in your heart, okay? He died to set you free. Have a good day. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. God bless. God bless. Hallelujah. Savannah and Morel, stay with me, girl. Don't go ahead of me, like, too far ahead, yeah. So we have good news for everybody. Hallelujah. And the good news is that Jesus loves you. Savannah and Morel, come just over here, girls. Just over here. The good news is that God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross of Calvary for your sins and for my sins. The precious blood of Jesus cleanses us from all of our sins, my friends. And I want to encourage you today, if you have not acknowledged Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. Have you got Jesus? Have you got eternal life? There is a life waiting for all of us. When you take your last breath, you will leave this earth and you will go into eternity. Many people don't think about the next life. Well, there's only two places, my friends. There's heaven and there's hell. And God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross of Calvary for your sins. The Bible says, whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed on God's one and only Son. So I want to encourage you today. Jesus did not come to condemn, but he came to save. He is the saviour of the world. Hallelujah. And there is power in the name of Jesus. God bless you, beautiful girls. He loves you so much. 
Trust in Him. He's the only way to heaven. Many people think there's many roads, but Jesus said that He is the way and the truth and the life. No one can come to God the Father except through Him. And it's my job as a Christian to spread the good news everywhere I go and to preach the gospel. You know, in this world, there's two types of people. Some people love Jesus and some people hate the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you, don't be someone who hates the name of Jesus. Every one of us will stand before God on Judgment Day. And the Bible says the book of life, the Lamb's book of life will be opened. And the Bible says if anyone's name is not found written in that book, then they'll be cast into the lake of fire. I just know that you ladies are not going to that place because I just see your humble heart and I know that you love Jesus. Maybe you haven't yet asked him in your heart, but me speaking to you today is not a mistake. This is not religion. Jesus said that we must be born again if we want to enter the kingdom of heaven. Being born again is just someone who puts their faith and trust in Jesus. You acknowledge what Jesus did. Uh, you, you spend time in his presence, reading the Bible. It's just trusting in him. He's the only way. There's no other way. See, his precious blood cleanses us of all of our sins. And he gives you peace. He gives you joy. And ultimately, he gives you eternal life. He helps you in this life. We were created to have a relationship with Jesus. And there's no, no, Buddha didn't die for us. Hindu didn't die, didn't die for us. All these false gods and false prophets that people follow did not die for our sins. There's only one who died and he's not in the grave. He rose out of the grave on the third day. Hallelujah. And because he lives, anyone who believes in him will receive eternal life as well. So if you haven't already, I want to encourage you, read those tracks that we gave you and just acknowledge him and just say, Jesus, I want to know who you are. Jesus, come into my life. I want to know you. Think about it. It's relationship. Many people just follow all these rules and they say, you know, like the world lies to people and they say, oh, you've got to do all these things in order to get to heaven. Rules, 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 rules. No, just trust in Jesus as Lord and Savior because we can't earn our way to heaven. It's what Jesus did on the cross. It's not what we did. We can't. The Bible says we are not saved by the works that we do, but we are saved by God's grace and by what he did. So make sure that you just trust in him and ask him to show you who he is. In fact, Jesus says, if you draw near to me, I'll draw near to you. And he just, he changed my life and he set me free when I was 27 years old. And I live my life doing this now because I know how real he is. I know how real heaven is. I know how real hell is. And um, I know how real God is. I know how real the devil is. Trust me, I've been through a lot in my life, you know, and I, so much so that I know I've seen hell, okay? I've seen hell. I've had visions of hell. Hell is a real place, just as the Bible describes it. God doesn't want anyone in that place. That's why he sends his workers out like me to go out and to preach the good news. Many people will listen, but many people will be stubborn and they will want to go their own way. But one day we'll all stand before God on the day of judgment. And then no one will be able to say, but I didn't know, I didn't know. The Lord Jesus will say, I sent my servant Genevieve and her daughters and they told you and you didn't want me. And then the, and then the Lord will say, because you are not washed in my precious blood, you can't enter the kingdom of heaven because sin cannot ever enter heaven. Only the blood that was shed on the cross washes our sins away. And what happens is the minute someone says, Jesus, I put my faith in you. I need you, Jesus. And you start to talk to him every day in prayer and live for him automatically. He writes your name in heaven in the book of life, okay? And your sins are automatically washed clean in his precious blood. And you just live, live for him. You begin to experience peace and joy. And I prayed for a man yesterday at the hotel I'm staying at. And he literally started sweating. And he was like, oh my gosh, I feel really, really hot right now. Like, what's going on? I said, that's the Holy Spirit. I said, it's Jesus. And I said, God said that anyone who believes in him will do the same things that he did. And God has given me authority to pray for people. And I said, so when I pray for you, and even like when I pray for you and you get healed or you feel the fire of God, it's the Holy Spirit. It's not me doing it. I don't have power to, to heal anyone. But this is the ministry that, 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 that the Lord gives his servants. That you lay. The Bible even says you will lay your hands on the sick. They will be healed. You will cast out demons. Demons will leave. Um, and this is the ministry that we do. But Jesus is the one doing it through us. And that's why many people are receiving miracles and powerful things. I've prayed for people who've been in car accidents and they were instantly healed, like broken back, instantly healed in an instant. Because it's Jesus. He said that, that He said that it would happen. And by faith, see the Bible says it's impossible to please God if we don't have faith. So I want to encourage you beautiful ladies, um, you know, has anyone ever spoken to you like this about Jesus before? Or do you believe in, sorry? 
Your boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so your boss is a Christian, yeah? Yeah. And, and, and what about you? No, no. Well, you know what? I want to encourage you. This is just how the Lord works. That as long as you have breath in your lungs, it, it, it's just the, the relentless love of God. That maybe your boss has spoken to you about Jesus and maybe you don't want to... Maybe you don't want to listen or you don't believe, but as long as you're alive and breathing, God will put many other people in your path, like me. I'm one of them, you know, because God is so full of grace and mercy and love. He doesn't want anyone to go to that place. So as long as you're alive and breathing, he'll keep putting people in your path. And then ultimately, if you do die without Jesus, then you won't be able to say, but I didn't know, Lord. See, he wants you to know the truth. There's no other truth. The only one truth is that Jesus is the only one that died for us and he's the only one that can set us free and he's the only one that can break every chain that the devil has placed over your life. Whatever it is the enemy has placed over your life, Jesus can break it in an instant. He loves you guys so much, okay? Think about what I've said to you today. Have a read of the tracks. And can I ask you, after what I've spoken to you today, <clears throat> do you think, is there something pulling at your heart? Are you thinking, well, wow, this sounds like kind of real. Like, like, do you think it sounds amazing? Like that God will send his son. You're not sure if it's real. Okay, so I want to encourage you, um, go home today and pray to him and say, I want to know. See, the Bible says, if you seek the truth, you will find it and it will set you free. So it's your job now. Pray to him and say, Jesus, show me. <clears throat> the Bible says, knock and the door will be opened. Ask, it will be given to you. Seek and you will find it. He's waiting to show you. He's, knock he's knocking on the door of your heart. And he's not going to come in. He waits for you to invite him. It's only when you say, Jesus, yes, I want you. I want to know you. Please come in. Then you begin to be like, oh my goodness. Even the colors look so different. Everything is so different. Even the piece in the... See, out of the mouths of children. She's... God is even using a little child to, to get through to you. <laughs> because he loves you so much, okay? Well, you guys are beautiful. And I, and I love you. And I just want, want, want you to know that... Jesus loves you more than I love you, okay, um, because he died for you and he's so real, okay. I wanted to end my life. I didn't want to live when I was 27. I had been through a lot of horrible things. I didn't really follow God like I was living my own life. And one day I just cried out in desperation. I said, who are you? God, who are you? You show me who you are. I'll change my life. I'll live for you. I had a powerful encounter with Jesus that changed my life. Many people have had encounters with Jesus, but I saw the nails. <laughs> I saw the nails in his hands and in his feet and he hugged me and he said my daughter I love you I saw Jesus he was wearing a white robe and my life was different from that day I'm 42 years old now but how can I not believe after what happened to me do you know that Jesus even healed me from celiac disease celiac disease is a stomach condition where the lining of your stomach is damaged from wheat and he healed me I eat everything now and the doctors can't believe it, but he healed me and this is why I have to spread the good news because he's so real and he wants you in heaven. I love you guys. You have a good day. Bless you. Bye bye. You're right. Bless you. Bless you. Can I ask you, can I pray for you? Um, you want to pray? You? Or? I have a You're casting? Okay. Two seconds. Yeah. Give me your hand. What was your name? Carissa. Carissa. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Smile the camera. Lord, I just pray for Carissa right now. Lord, I just break every chain the enemy has placed over her life. The Lord said he's going to touch you right now. You're going to feel in your heart. Touch her heart right now in Jesus' name. Touch her heart right now in Jesus' name. Fill her with your peace and with your joy. Break every chain the enemy has placed over Carissa's life in Jesus' name. Rena Sunday. Lord, I just pray, Lord, I just bind any spirit of deception, lies, and confusion. I destroy the work of the enemy over her life right now in Jesus' name. And I ask you, Lord, to open her eyes, remove this curse from her eyes, and show her who you are. Feel her right now, Lord. Touch her right now. Lama sekiande. He loves you so much. He's knocking on the door of your heart. You've got to open it. Okay? I want to encourage you. What you've experienced today, do you feel weird? Like, do you feel something weird like like hey you don't know you're not sure well, 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 well listen you know what he loves you so much and thank you for for receiving prayer but he loves you you got to come into his presence and he will never leave you or forsake you he's he's so in love with you he looks at you and he says you are my precious princess you are my daughter and he, you know he wants you to push your shoulders back and keep your head up don't walk down looking on the ground don't be so unsure of who you are don't look at other people and judge, and judge yourself because you know what? The Lord says, you are beautiful in my eyes, precious daughter. Don't worry about what other people think. Is it like, 
he, he's showing me right now that you worry a lot about what other people think. You worry a lot about what other people think and you usually judge, you usually like compare yourself to others. And he says, you are beautiful. You don't need to compare yourself to anyone. You are beautiful in my eyes. I created you unique just the way you are for a purpose and a reason. And, and the Lord says, I love you with an everlasting love. And he says, come to me, my daughter, trust in me, rely on me. And I'll, and I'll show you so much more of what I have for you. He wants to give you so much more. Okay, so Lord, bless her right now. Bless her right now. Shakia Labase. Sweetie, just, just repeat after me. Say, Dear Jesus, show me who you are. I want to know you, Lord. I want to know you. Say, so, so I repent of all of my sins. And I ask you right now to come into my heart. Come into my heart and show me who you are. Deliver me for your glory. D -d Deliver me for your glory. Fill me right now, Jesus. So say, fill me, fill, fill, like, me, fill me with your spirit. Me with spirit. I love you, Jesus. Love you, Amen. Lord, he's filling you right now. Generational curses and spirits be broken now in Jesus' name. Lord, bless your daughter. Fill her with the peace and joy that passes all understanding. Use her for your glory. Give her a desire to read your, your Bible, the word, and to spend time in prayer with you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. He loves you, sweetheart. You just, you just ask him in your heart. He's going to change your life. Talk to him in prayer every day. Your life will never be the same. All right, I love you guys so much. Okay, you have a good day. Bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. All right, let's go, guys. Well, bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we just pray for them right now. Thank you for that opportunity, Lord, to witness to your two beautiful daughters. Or, or to those two beautiful girls. Well, I hope that they that, that, that they become believers, Lord. Um, I know the one did pray and acknowledge you as Lord and Saviour, and she did repent. But we pray that they will take it beyond just a prayer and that they, that they will actually serve you, Lord, learn to live for you and trust in you and follow you. Because, brothers and sisters, it's more than just saying a prayer. We don't just get saved by saying a prayer. So many have said prayers, have said the sinner's prayer, <clears throat> but nothing changes. There's got to be a change in your heart. There's got to be a change. Hallelujah. And glory to God. Um, yeah, I want to encourage you, you know, if, if you've ever said that prayer, if you've ever said the sinner's prayer, don't just leave it at that. Learn to meditate upon the Word of God. Learn to spend time in God's presence. Learn to... Uh, to live for him um, you know Jesus said if you love me you will obey my will hallelujah so yeah like I said it's more than just a prayer um, yes when we when someone by faith by faith when we receive him into our heart as Lord and Savior hallelujah the Holy Spirit does come to live inside the Bible says if any one be in Christ behold they are a new creation the old has passed the new has come glory to God but and understand that when you acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, I'm not saying you have to work, work hard because you can't work for your salvation. But I'm saying that don't just leave it at a prayer. Follow Jesus, live for him, walk in his ways, um, show your fruits because the Bible says you will know them by their fruits. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. You will know them by their fruits, says the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And um, wow. So now we're just heading to the festival now, brothers and sisters. And I, if, if I have an opportunity, I will do a recording while I'm inside. And, um, and yeah, I just leave it in the Lord's hands. But for now, I will say bye. We love you. And uh, see you in my next video. Bye-bye now.